Everyone, it's Wednesday, February 5th, and it's time for another quick update. On this episode, first, GGY starts today. Second, Missions Fest in Vancouver. And third, Andre and John attended an encouraging conference on disability rights. So let's get right into it. God and Government Youth starts today. In just a couple of seconds, they're going to be walking through the door behind me. Stay tuned to our Facebook and Instagram accounts for vo photos, uh, video clips, and more throughout the week. And we'll be releasing a full vlog later this week. All right, let's go find somebody to talk to. So, uh, what do you think of the conference so far? I really like it. We've heard a lot of new things about things that are happening in Canada today, a lot about euthanasia, which is a very important topic. And we also got to go see uh, the Supreme Court, which was an amazing experience, something that's definitely on my bucket list, so check that one out. Yeah, it was, it was great. Um, yeah, it was amazing. And we're learning new stuff about uh, different ways to be a Christian in Canadian politics. I think this is going to be a great week. The BC staff were in Vancouver over the weekend and Mike joins us from there. Hey Colin, yeah we're here at Missions Fest 2020 downtown Vancouver. Beautiful location for it. It's always exciting to be here because for the most part, people, the, res the message that we have resonates with them. They're Christians, uh, they, many of them are not aware that we have no abortion laws in Canada, and they certainly support our initiatives to protect pre-born human rights. At this conference, we're focusing specifically on the topic of sex-selective abortion. One of the reasons this is exciting is because even just this past week, a new polling came out, the National Post was reporting on it, that not only a majority of Canadians are they uncomfortable with the status quo, they would like to see abortion regulated, a high percentage, over 80%, are not comfortable with uh, sex-selective abortion happening in our country. So we're getting them to fill out postcards to send to their member of parliament. And, uh, as, as in everything, we're all about action, and people love the fact that we have an action item for them, and they're filling out postcards and mailing them. We're going to be mailing them all on Monday. Uh, they like it, that they have that simple opportunity to communicate to their government officials. So it's uh, the first day was successful. We're hoping for a successful second day. Back to you, Colin. All the best from Vancouver, BC. Thanks so much, Mike. So great that you guys could have had so many good conversations. Finally, as you know, we launched our campaign website, care.kill.ca, last week. And that same day, here in Ottawa, Andre and John attended a conference discussing the rights of those with disabilities in light of the expansion of assisted suicide here in Canada. Here's Andre with more. Thanks, Colin. Last week, I attended uh, a forum on medical assistance in dying, disability rights, and equality, a very informative uh, forum where advocates for disability rights were, were calling on the government to hold the line on uh, assisted suicide, to not expand it, and certainly not to remove the end-of-life criteria for uh, medical assistance in dying. Uh, those powerful voices are being shared far and wide. Check out arpacanada.ca for some of the videos from uh, that forum. Uh, that forum also coincided with ARPA Canada's release of our Care Not Kill campaign. Check that out, carenotkill.ca, where we really advocate for the equal protection, the equal uh, rights of people with extreme disabilities. Uh, when we encounter someone asking for assisted suicide, we need to treat all people who ask for that equally. And that means that we offer assistance and help and support uh, for their suffering to try to address the suffering. We don't offer death. We don't offer an end to their life. So check out carenotkill.ca. Uh, back to you, Colin, for more. Thanks so much, Andre. That's all for this week. Thanks to you for watching Quick Updates. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.